Hello again everybody, Chad Casket here. We are now looking at the Stormblood patch for Final Fantasy. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be getting from 60 to 70 crafting kind of as I go along. So for starters, we are still wearing our Ironworks gear that we had from Heaven's Ward. And I have not done any like real big time crafting or whatever, but I'll get into how I got those levels here in just a moment. Attributes are 1013 craftsmanship. Control is 991, but that's boosted with seafood stew, so it's 960 on its own there. Culinarian is not one of my specialists. And then my CP is 430, but it's got a uh, 50 CP boost from the seafood stew that I'm using here. Now, first off, this guy behind me here, he sells this stuff, this tempura platter and it gives you 43 CP which is really nice um, I'm gonna use seafood stew though just because I like the control um, the control bonus and aside from the craftsmanship bonus so the 31 more control would be nicer than having that little bit more of craftsmanship for me so and seafood stew is probably just like dirt cheap on your market boards right now or you can make it you know all those stuff isn't too hard to to come by there so anyway the macro that I've got for level 60 what I'm gonna be crafting is the level 60 levy quest items and I'm gonna do the triple turn in stuff so for the culinary and hang on just a second I've got sacks of Garabina flour so if you do three of those, which is one synth, then that's a levy turn in right there. So the macro that I've got here, synthesize one of these real quick. Let me pull up the macros. It takes 467 CP for this macro to work. And the craftsmanship that I had it's probably like a little bit too high, but I mean craftsmanship like right around about 950 to 1000 is where you're going to want to be. I don't know the exact number, but be somewhere around in there. If you figure out what the exact craftsmanship is, then let me know and I can put it in the comments or something. But alright, here we go. So here's the macro. It's comfort zone. Quiet. Steady hand 2. Waste not two. And we got four hasty touches. Of course, they're all gonna fucking blow up. Every one of them. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, so that was macro number one. We had four, five, six, seven, eight hasty touches in that macro right there, four of which blew up, which is bullshit, but it's all good, whatever, just keep going here. The manipulation, steady hand two, and then we got our precise basic combos twice here. So we got eight stacks, only at 9%, which is kind of shit. But, you know, very rarely I'm going to pop those AC touches there at the beginning. It's kind of messed up, so whatever. Try it again. See, not just using like one HQ, you can use two. This stuff right here, you can go out and gather it, which would be your best bet to kind of level up your gatherers at the same time. So you'll get some HQ as well in there. We'll give this another shot. Four hasty touches, so they don't all blow up. I also don't have any manuals going or anything like that right now because I'm just making a quick video, but I would um, definitely 
while you're grinding these out, use these commercial engineering manuals here so that you get a boost of your XP. Okay, a little better shape on this one. See, we've already got seven stacks, so this one should 100%. See, there's a, there was a precise that went off, so that will be good for sure. Go 100%. Okay, there's that. So I'll make sure and leave the uh, macro in the description there for you. But, anyways, so the levels that I've got right now, you guys, you see, like all my guys are pretty close here. That is from literally two days of handing in the grand company thing. So I'm gonna go show you real quick because I, I went ahead and crafted up all my grand company items. This run around, I just wanna show you what it does to your XP whenever you turn all that stuff in and high quality and everything like that. Because I think a lot of people don't really remember that we have grand company turn-ins that are just astronomical XP. So I'm gonna run over here real fast and turn these in. Okay. I wonder if I can do this. Let's see. No, it's not going to let me. Okay. So anyways, let me show you. Here's where they're at right now. Okay. So this one for sure. So this is my culinary and he's at 2.9 million. He needs 4.47 million. So he's like a 1.5 million-ish somewhere around there. So... Let's go ahead and turn those in. So I just got 1,645,000 for that one because it had stars next to it. But that right there is was like almost, you know, a quarter or a, a third of a level. So yeah, do these every day. Even if you're grinding out your collectibles or doing something like that, just make sure to do those every day. I'll turn all these in real quick. Let's see if I can get any other levels off of these. Maybe not. Craft all this stuff too, because everybody right now is buying these off the market boards so all these are like 500,000 on the market boards if you're crafting them too and you got some extra mats craft up some extra ones toss them on the boards for people that are just buying up their grand company turn-ins pretty good way to make some gill along the way here see even the ones that didn't have stars are a million xp at level 60 so that's pretty good. Turn in this fish. I'll turn in this for my miner. Haven't went and gotten that yet. So anyways guys, that's how I planned the level there. Gonna do these grain company leaves every day. And uh, and then use this macro here. We're gonna turn in some levees and stuff like that. So. Just look out there in Kugane at what the levy meets require, and then, you know, basically you want to try to do the one that has the turn in for three times because it's more XP. Number one, it's a lot more mats or whatever, so that kind of sucks. But it's more XP for you. You use less of your levies, so I would say that that's probably the best route to go. But anyways, um, it's been fun. So. Stay tuned for more videos as we go along here in Stormblood with the crafting stuff. And we'll get our, our gear going. I'll help out with some melds and do as best as I can to, uh, to keep you guys informed as I go along. Alright, well thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys out there.